So I recently had some issues with my Airstream with one of the axles, so we're going to get both axles replaced. We're also going to get a lift put on it. Um, it concerns me that it's just a little bit low for some of the places I like to go. Ideally, I would leave it stock where it is for safety of traveling, but I go off-road with it a bit, so I want a few additional inches of lift. I'm also adding a 3-inch uh, lift to it, and I'm going to show you how I address my weight distribution hitch in preparation. Now, to begin with, I can tell you that uh, where my ball hitch is set right now, it's just a little bit higher than I would ideally like. And one of the reasons is because the Airstream sits so low and it's got a nice low center of gravity for towing, I have to set this a little lower than I would like, and I can't quite do the things I would like to do with the... Um, uh, with this uh, weight distribution hitches spring arms and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and adjust that as well So we're going to start by taking this hitch apart We're going to also load the bed up here with the amount of weight that I typically carry so um, I'm going to kind of distribute that uh, in the bed here typically where it would be and uh, What I might do is substitute just some weight plates for some of it just for ease of moving it and in and out. so I think we've got this pretty well set where it would be when the weight would be in about the same weight I would have in the bed when I'm towing. Before I loaded the bed up with that weight, and a lot of it's uh, behind the rear axle, you can see there, so a lot of it's putting stress on the rear axle, lifting off the front axle, I'm right at about 18 inches. And 17 and three quarters is the height of the uh, Airstream for the hitch. So I'm right in the ballpark of where I'd wanna be. And so now I know where I wanna go from. When I take the 17 and three quarters plus the half inch I'm gonna gain in the wheels plus the three inches I'm gonna gain um, in the lift itself, I want to go to about 21 and a quarter with this. So I'm going to see if I can get this set just about to where this I want. It's kind of the way I want this set up here. If you look, we're four or five inches off the ground right there. That way, when I drop the trailer onto the ball, it has, you know, there's going to be a couple inches of sag. And with that couple inches of sag, I'm still going to have room to get this arm on and get it into position correctly. So I'm happy with that. Now, <clears throat> as I've gone and done here, I've added some increased, uh, uh, air and if we look here look, and it says looks like I'm right at about 38 psi there so at 38 psi that gets me you can see it there right to about 21 and an eighth inches that should be just about perfect when I'm loaded so that's the new top end. what we'll do is we'll go ahead we'll unload all this weight from the back end here and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and see how high that raised us and then we'll drop our airbags to the point where we're back down to right around 21 to 21 and a quarter inches again so without the extra 250 pounds that i usually travel with um, we're now closer to 21 and three quarter inches and so what i'm going to do is lower the pressure in the airbags see where that comes now out if we take a look here i've got about 25 psi and I'm right just a shade over 21 inches again. So that's going to be my new range is going to be between 25 and 38 PSI, depending on how much I have in the bed, what I have in the travel trailer. So now I use my airbags to adjust the hitch ball just a little bit um, based on how much is in the Then, of course, once I'm done, I will run through the cat scales to make sure we've got the proper amount of weight on the front axle, proper amount of weight on the rear axle.